So I've got two different things in my hand here. In the left hand, I have the EGR out of this L300, and in the right hand, I've got the blocker plates to delete this out of this L300. So while I've got the engine torn apart and we're doing the head, I'm gonna show you how to put the blocker plates in and eliminate the EGR system. Hold on a second. Before we go any further, this is illegal in a lot of places. So before you go and do it, make sure it's actually legal in your area or you didn't hear it from me anyways. But why are we removing it out of the van? Well, the EGR system in these things, honestly, first off, it doesn't actually do a whole heck of a lot. Quite often, they leak, they cause the van to run really rough, and we already know that these vans have a big problem with cracking heads and head temps already. So taking that exhaust gas, running it back through and into the engine, really doesn't help the scenario any. So by removing it, the vans do actually run a whole heck of a lot better. So that's why we're doing it on this van. If you do want the plates, they are available on the projectaddiction.ca website. But again, I'm gonna say right now, they're for off-road use only. Install it at your own risk. So to access the EGR, we need to get to the intake manifold and exhaust side of the engine. And that means taking out the driver's seat and the whole center console. Now, if you don't know how to do it, I've already done a lot of videos that that process is already in there. If you want to see a video specifically on taking out that center console driver's seat, drop a comment below. If there's enough interest, I'll go and do one of those as well later on. But like I said, I've already got this one accessible, so let's have a look. So you're probably thinking, now oh, there's some more pieces that you need to take off. And yeah, you're right. You'll notice that we don't actually have our whole intake system here anymore. It's being removed. So we need to take off three more pieces. First off, we have the turbo pipe or the turbo inlet pipe. To remove that, you've got one 10 mil here and then another 10 mil at the top and you can pull this thing off right off. The next piece is right here. This metal pipe runs over top of your intake manifold and it can be taken off with the two bolts located here and right back there. And lastly, we have our connection pipe that runs through this hole right here and then to our air filter box. This will give us nice clear access to the bottom of the EGR where it bolts onto the exhaust manifold. All you're gonna need is an extension, a ratchet, and a 12 mil socket to get those off. And then the two other bolts we're going to remove are on the top of the EGR. And now we can remove the entire EGR right out of the way. Now we can go ahead and put our blocker plates in. The square blocker is gonna go onto the top and the diamond shaped one is gonna go onto the bottom. Now remember, we do need new gaskets as well, so make sure that you get those before you install them. The other thing you're probably wondering is, what about the bolts? Because the bolt you just took out is huge, and well, if we try and put this in here, obviously we're gonna have some problems. So I've gone out and I've picked up some new bolts here. These are M8 by 1.25 thread pitch and 15 millimeters long. They're just gonna go in here like so, and then we can install this on the top and we'll slide this back onto our exhaust manifold. The other thing to note, if you do want to put in an EGT gauge or an exhaust gas temperature gauge, this is a really good time to do it because all you need to do is drill a hole in this blocker plate, tap it, and it's a great spot to thread in your EGT probe. You can access to the lower bolt, a slightly shorter extension works really well here. And you can kind of sneak it around the back of the turbo actuator rod and then access the nut that way. Now that you got those blocker plates in, all you need to do is reinstall your intake, your seat, your center console, hit that like and subscribe, and then your job is finished. I've got to put the timing belt back in this thing, so I've got a wee bit more to do, but if you do want to learn more, make sure you check out some of the other videos on the channel. And as always, get out in the shop and do something. We'll see you next time. Have a good one. Where's my airline?